Hey everyone, Susie here, and today is a cafe day to one of those tiny, blink and you miss it, mid-city neighborhoods called Lafayette Square. But you are not gonna wanna miss this one because this neighborhood was built in the 1910s by real estate developer George Lafayette Crenshaw, and he wanted it to be an elegant European neighborhood. So it has a lot of Mediterranean flair. But first, of course, a cafe. Let's go. What do you do when you can't decide? You get both. So I got a lemon bar. Uh, she described this as a cinnamon oatmeal cookie. So I was like, okay, count me in. Travis got a ham and cheese croissant. And what is the drink? A latte. <laughs> and a latte. And you know my drink's coming. Okay, they are so nice in there. I went and got my matcha latte. And they were like, oh, you should try this muffin with fresh raspberry preserves. I was like, uh, okay. And she said that a lot of the stuff is made right next door. Very local. All right, we're here at Jurassic Magic. Those pastries were absolute magic. So now we're going to go a mile further down the street to Lafayette Square. And one of the notable houses we're gonna look at is the residence, the former residence, of Paul Williams, the famous architect who did so many buildings in this city. So let's go check it out. So another flat on Venice Boulevard. I think we've all gotten them now. So we made it to Lafayette Square, but we're gonna head straight to the bike shop now. But it's okay because we have to bike through Lafayette Square to get there, so you'll still get to see it. And you'll still get to see the residence of Paul Williams, the famous architect. This is it. 
with the tubeless the sealant plugged it up which will allow me to get the half a mile to the bike shop So he switched it to tube, but I'm gonna have to get a new tire because the gash was too big. <sighs> All right, we stopped down the street to get a drink, but we're going straight home where I will order a new tire. But whatever, show must go on. A lot of lessons learned today. Be prepared. I was a bad cyclist today. Be prepared, but nevertheless, even with all the drama. Um, Lafayette Square was beautiful. It was like, I didn't even know that was there. Gorgeous houses, really great to bike through. I don't know if I could say another great cafe day, but it was a good one.